Hi, I'm Jared, an engineer at Airbyte. Airbyte is an open source alternative to tools like Fivetrain and Stitch. We help you sync data from databases, APIs, and files into data warehouses. Today, I'm going to walk through our Getting Started tutorial, where I'll spin up a local instance of Airbyte and sync data from one Postgres database to another. To find this tutorial, you can go to airbyte.io, click on Get Started, and then you can navigate to the tutorial. To do this tutorial, you'll need Git installed and you'll also need Docker and Docker Compose. But once you have those, we can clone the repo, move into the directory and launch the app with Docker Compose. All right, and in a moment, you'll see a banner that says that the Airbyte UI is ready. And we can go there at localhost 8000. So here we are at the onboarding screen. And here we can choose to receive updates from Airbyte. We could just skip this part, but let's uh, ask for updates. All right. And now we're in a wizard that lets us choose what data we want to send through Airbyte. Right now, we have support for a database source, Postgres, and we also have some API sources. Uh, but this is just the beginning. We're building an integration framework that makes it easy to create sources and destinations. So you should expect many more of these very soon. And please reach out to us if you need a specific integration or if you'd like to help build one. But for now, let's just start out with a Postgres source. And actually, even before that, we need to have a Postgres instance running. So actually, let's just copy and paste this command, which creates a source database at port 2000 and a destination database at port 3000. So now that those are up and running, let's add some data to the first database, the source. Um, so we're going to create a table in that database and we're going to insert three rows into it. All right, cool. So now that we have data in there, we're going to connect to it. So let's call this Airbyte source. Um, this is just running locally, so we can use localhost. It's on port 2000. Username is Postgres, password is password, uh, and the database is Postgres. All right, so um, before I do this, I wanna point out that if you have an invalid password, um, it tests the connection before creating a source or a destination. And if it is unable to reach it, then um, you have to retry. So here with the correct password, this will succeed. All right, now we're on the destination screen. And currently we support BigQuery and Postgres and uh, local CSVs, which are really only for debugging. Um, we'll also be adding support for other warehouses like Redshift or Snowflake pretty soon. Um, but let's just use Postgres for this as well. Um, we'll call this Airbyte destination, local host again, this time port 3000, username Postgres, password, password, database Postgres, and we'll use the public schema for this. Let's uh, set up the destination. It's going to check that it can establish a connection to this before continuing. All right. Now it's going to allow us to configure the syncing itself. So it shows a list of all of the tables that we have available. So here it's only a single table, but also has all the columns so we can choose and select which, uh, which things we want to sync. In this case, let's just sync all of them. And it also lets you do that either manually or on some cadence. So let's just say every five minutes for now. All right, I'm gonna click set connection. All right, and here we are. We have a couple of options on the side. We can edit our destination settings or we can go through any sources we have. Uh, you can add any number of sources. And then uh, I'll just click on here and we see that there's already been a sync. This is very fast since it's uh, such a small database. Um, and we also have some logs here. And about logging, um, one of the biggest problems that we've seen with tools like Fivetran is that it's very difficult to debug, it lacks visibility. In Airbyte, we want to allow full log access wherever we can and to help people debug and fix integration problems. And that's one of our highest priorities. 
and one of our uh, biggest differentiators. Now let's actually see what happened when this uh, completed here. So I'm going to scroll down in the tutorial a little bit and copy this command. This is just selecting everything that's inside that uh, table on the target side. So here we can see the three uh, the three records at, copied over. So what happened behind the scene during the sync is it recognized that there wasn't a table in the destination. So it created that and then it added these columns. And also in that process, it added some metadata columns as well to have some versioning information and things that would help if you're updating rows or something like that. Um, all right, now let's uh, go back here. And if you wanted to, you could uh, sync again and that would uh, show up soon after. Uh, you can also change the schema that you want to be uh, replicating and you can also connect to a different source or delete the source. Um, but yeah, that's, that's it for this demo. We've uh, successfully replicated data from one Postgres instance to another. And that's it for this tutorial, but it's just the beginning of Airbyte. If you have any questions at all, please reach out to us on Slack. We're still in alpha, so if you see any rough edges or want to request an integration, please create an issue on our GitHub or leave a thumbs up on an existing issue. Thank you, and we hope you enjoy using Airbyte.